I am the Rolls-Royce Commonwealth Professor of Marine Propulsion and the Department Head of Aerospace and Ocean Engineering. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the naming ceremony for the department. It is an honor to have President Tim Sands, Dr. Laura Sands, Mr. Kevin Crofton, his partner Ind Bojan, uh, all joining us today. Also, I would like to introduce uh, Dr. Mark Psyche, the first holder of the Kevin T. Crofton Faculty Chair. Mark, could you stand up? Mark's in the back room here. <laughs> chair, which is the highest level of named endowments at Virginia Tech, is important because it permits the university to strategically recruit and attract senior faculty who can provide leadership in new and important instructional and research areas. Dr. Psyche joined us from Cornell University and is an expert in guidance and control, uh, guidance and navigation, GPS resilience against cyber attacks, and next generation satellite systems. He will certainly play an important role in the destination area of integrated security. Dr. Psyche's field of research really highlights the impact that an agile university can have on the world. By bringing world-class scholars and students together, we can solve today's and tomorrow's problems while simultaneously preparing young adults for important careers and lifelong learning. In aerospace and ocean engineering, we provide education and research in all areas associated with ships and submarines, spacecraft and satellites, airplanes, and all sorts of flying machines. This is essentially unchanged from the past. This is, in essence, what aerospace and ocean engineering is about. However, what is new in our field is the focus on autonomy, cyber-physical human security, advanced materials, environmentally responsible systems, impact of climate change, and the generation of electricity by wind, and ocean waves. Named endowments like the Crofton Faculty Chair help us attract and retain academic leaders in a fiercely competitive environment, especially in emerging fields of research. Kevin Crofton's generosity will have significant and long-term transformative impact on the Department of Aerospace and Ocean Engineering. We will be able to recruit and retain world-class faculty and attract the most highly qualified and diverse students. This signature gift will allow us to support experiential learning and to, and to make strategic investments that will enable leadership positions in important future technologies. Together, the full impact of the Crofton Endowment will move our program into the upper echelon of the most respected programs in the world. Please join me in thanking Kevin for his dedication and generosity to the department and to Virginia Tech. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce Virginia Tech's 16th president and fellow engineer, Tim Sands. Thanks very much, Eric. We're so happy today to welcome Kevin and Ind to Virginia Tech and to express our appreciation for this extremely generous gift to the university. Kevin is an outstanding alumnus and who has achieved great success while embracing Virginia Tech's values of lifelong learning and discovery and our motto, Ut Prozum, that I may serve. We are deeply grateful for his ongoing support of the university and the Department of Aerospace and Ocean Engineering. His earlier gift establishing the faculty chair and today's gift to the department will provide crucial resources to advance Virginia Tech's engineering impact and reputation. His generosity will also support the education of the next generation of Virginia Tech engineers who will be tasked with solving some of the world's most pressing and complex problems. Kevin and Virginia Tech are dedicated to making a difference. If you consider the potential impact of the new research and discoveries in aerospace and ocean engineering and the ability of our faculty and students, this gift could well, very well contribute to the future well-being of our planet and of humanity in general. Thank you, Kevin, for your generosity and support, your accomplishments and your commitment to discovery and, and service epitomize the spirit of Virginia Tech. I know that the Kevin T. Crofton Department of Aerospace and 
ocean engineering will advance the mission of the university and will make us proud for many years to come. Kevin, would you please join me uh, at the lectern to sign your letter of intent? And this is it, once you sign it. <laughs> Most importantly, I'll remember what I learned. 
My time in Peru taught me that in the end, you won't regret taking that leap, whether it's in a river in the Amazon or building a relationship with someone who you don't even speak the same language with. No matter what, that leap will be worthwhile. There is nothing in this world that can stop you from making a difference. My experience in Peru shed everything that was clouding who I was and helped me to find my whole and raw self. I am more confident in my abilities and will continue to grow in my passion for service even after graduation. We are fortunate to have scholarships available for student leaders and need-based scholarships for our participants on these immersion trips. These scholarships would not be possible without the support of Mr. Compton. I want to take a moment to thank my amazing family for being here today and supporting me each and every day. I also want to thank our university and the Division of Student Affairs for making a mark on my heart forever. But now, most importantly, I want to give thanks to you directly, Mr. Compton. Your scholarship enriched my life far beyond its cash value. Your generosity has made these experiences possible for me, for many students, and now your generosity will make these possible for so many more students to come in disciplines like engineering and all over the university. Through these experiences, we are given the opportunity to collaborate and grow into VT-shaped students. Embracing at Prosum is taking that leap because you never know what you will learn who you will become, or the impact that you will make. On behalf of the entire Virginia Tech student body, I would like to offer my heartfelt appreciation to you, Mr. Cofton, for all that you have donated in order for us to continue to serve. It is my absolute pleasure to be here with you all this afternoon, and I am so, so grateful to be able to speak here in front of you all. Um, at this time, um, well, actually, on behalf of Virginia Tech, the College of Engineering, and the Division of Student Affairs, it has been a privilege to participate in our festivities. Thank you for being here to celebrate with us. At this time, I would like to invite Dr. Patterson back to the stage to close our program.